now 4-0, and and in each game they have forced 20-plus turnovers in every single game. They did that once a year ago. As Jared Fialco reports, defensive pressure keys an 18-point win over Presbyterian. Well, this was unexpected. Presbyterian goes on a late first-half ransacking of State. They go into the break up eight on a Wolfpack team just gasping for air. Tonight was going to be a tough night for us, and I knew it didn't matter who we played. Uh, when you think about it, us playing four games in seven days, I have no idea who did the scheduling. In the second half, somewhere, somehow, the Pack find their second win. The Blue Hose see red as State's swarming defense forces yet another opponent to cough up 20-plus turnovers, 15 in the final 20 minutes alone. That leads to high-flying hoops in transition. 18 points for Torin Dorn, 23 for Leonard Freeman, who sets yet another career high. Conditioning kicked in, and the end result looks lopsided. 86-68 NC State as they improve to 4-0. In the summer, we conditioned ourselves so we can be in a, a greater shape. Um, and that's when the second win kicked in. Coach Keats always said, like, we're not going to be as tired as the other team. Like, no matter who we play, we're one of the best conditioned teams in the country. I knew that when, when I made the schedule, that if we could get past this fourth game, I thought it would give our guys um, tremendous confidence. And honestly, uh, I know you guys may not believe this, but I haven't even looked ahead. Uh, who do we play? Right. That would be the third-ranked team in the country, Arizona, coached by former state assistant Sean Miller in the battle for Atlantis. At least they get six days off in between now and that bout in the Bahamas. Jared Fialco, WRL Sports, Raleigh.